can you explain me at least five security best practices that you have implemented in your uh, current project yeah sure sure for security um security to the instance first we need to um, configure security groups so security groups are the one which control the incoming traffic and outgoing traffic mostly we will control the inbound traffic only we will give the only required traffic likewise if you want to only 80 uh, port number 80 we will just give yeah we will just allow a port number 80 and uh, anyway we will allow the ssh connection so likewise this is one type of uh, security measures and one more security is we can do it at the subnet level which is knuckles network access control list we can um, um, if we can create the certain rules like what are the ips which can come into or with the knuckles we can also deny the deny rules will be also available we can also deny what should not be come to our instances even though um, if something is allowed in the uh, security level and if you block at the nsa level it will be blocked at the nsa level only so it will be like an our extra uh, any extra layer to our um, instances and one more thing is giving proper iam permissions so if we have if we don't have any proper iam services uh, any other any users can have the access to all the services so we should not we should not want that so we will give proper uh, uh, security sorry we will give only proper um, permissions and we will give them uh, proper uh, uh, policies uh, there will be if, if you take the s3 bucket mm -hmm. we will be giving the policy document i mean uh, bucket policies like who can access the bucket even though they have the access to the s3 but we can make sure like um, uh, our bucket won't be um, deleted like um, we can uh, create the policies for a certain particular bucket so likewise we can make sure our security in the aws okay and one more thing if you if you want security for the users we can use multi-factor authentication that is one type of security i forgot to tell so even though our password uh, username and password got compromised and we don't let anyone to access our account because we can we are uh, enabling the multi-factor authentication with that they should have the device so that uh, other, otherwise they can't like log, log in any security product you have implemented in the pipeline uh, no sir uh, have you used sonar cube in the pipeline yes sir yes sir yeah we use sonar cube in the pipeline yeah, it is used to um, check the code quality and it, it will be checking the code quality and um, it will check for the any code uh, bugs are there and it is check for the code vulnerabilities mm -hmm. so this is one way to check check the code can you give me like two three examples what sort of information you get from sonar analysis yeah, if there are uh, uh, any duplication lines, it will tell. Uh, we will uh, we will be getting like uh, what are the problem with that lines, mm -hmm. and if we have any bugs, I mean there will be option of code smells and all those things. We can check the um, sonar cube analysis, and then based on that, we will notify the developer. If there is a failure in any pipeline, first we will try to debug it, and if it is any intermediate issue, we will just uh, rerun the build. If it is um, uh, related to the code according to the sonar cube, we will mention to the developer. He will take care of that. Okay.